I think that's a yes. Uh, you just said three minutes. I don't know if it was like a question or like. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 okay. I'm done. Got it. We have perfect. Attention, what is here? Turkey security gun for Syrian defense and risking ice of surges. Cardinal 19 writes the SDF commander expected a Turkish incursion in February. Talking to Turkish air artillery effort is likely. Even a limited operation would undermine SDF counter terror concises. Air strikes within the SDF. I speak capitalizing SDF's focus on Turkish activity. Diplomacy is the only off wrap. Aiden Tosmos 118 explains in a dramatic reversal of foreign policy on cars leaking normalized relations with Damascus. Calculating agreement with the security gun from Russia to launch a new incursion ahead of June 23 of the elections. Helping rally voters around the flag. Given America's interest in bringing instability and in Islamic State resurgence, Washington support a viable agreement between the SDF, Damascus, and Turkey. Syria encourages pledge to allegiance to the state in return for local power sharing. U.S. military presence, local oil resources. And sanctions all represent leverage. Iran's a pragmatist. They go for escalation as or a deal he attempted ahead of the 2019 elections. A deal will promise domestic stability and enhanced regional influence. A precipitous free for all will leave the region raked with instability, which could be exported by ISIS in a manner that pulls the U.S. back. Diplomacy has worked historically. Jeffrey 12 9 confirms U.S. officials could build on past arrangements with a real offer on the table. In 2016 and 19, Ankara, Washington, and the SDF agreed to withdraw forces and withdraw patrols to verify. Resurgence wreaks havoc as Torah's 19 finds. Apocalyptic terrorist believes the world must be destroyed. ISIS's largest, richest group of history is a paradigm case. Leadership made decisions based on apocalyptic belief. Members talked about acquiring news, policing deadly passages, and building dirty bombs. ISIS was pushing to destroy the world button. Gene drives, digital biological converters, and CRISPRs to make it feasible to synthesize pathogens more devastating in nature. Incursion also escalates as CDs 21 writes, if Turkey decides to attack Northern Syria, Iran will probably resort to a military response via proxy. The situation gets spiraling to broad long term conflict between the two. Avery 20 further, Russia and China from Alexander Iran might be drawn into a war. Nukes would be used intentionally or by miscalculation. Global family resort it could destroy civilization. Contention 2 is Nagorno Karabakh. Internal conflict is inevitable after American involvement. It's talking to explain Nagorno Karabakh is populated by ethnic Armenians. Azerbaijan has been years trying to research control over the region. Russian peacekeepers were deployed to assure protection. The war in Ukraine has left Russia weakened. Without a referee, Baku is trying to large scale war if its demands are met. Those demands have escalated since 2020. It's time for the West to use a significant soft power to bring Armenia and Azerbaijan to the table. Without a strong media, the outcome will be never any conflict. While the EU facilitated recent talks, it's the US that underwrites the way to the West. Washington has sanctioned the country until Baku chooses diplomacy over force. There is precedent for success. And our 2022 further, Armenia has shown itself willing to make difficult concessions despite criticism. Among people in Azerbaijan, unlike the to the 2020 war, which supported Muted. War would escalate Corbicchio 14 rights if Azerbaijan is <coughs> the offensive of Nagorno Karabakh and decides to take the war to Armenia, it would certainly result in Russian intervention. Turkey would rush to Azerbaijan on side of Rwanda, NATO war with Armenia, NATO and Russia would face nuclear war as a result of the interplay. Near South 20 further, few places on earth so many potential interest, powerful interests with potential to spiral. Every autocratic regime can see the example of how to be adventurous. Such as these are reading ground for regional wars and wider conflagration. By staying quiet, he uses damaging its leadership position. Contention theory is water. The earliest recorded war was fought with the Tigris Euphrates readers. History is set to uh, rivers, but history is set to repeat itself. Colob 118 finds Tigris Euphrates flow has fallen 40% as Turkey, Syria, Iran, and Iraq pursue rapid water use. Doomsday predictions are playing out. Lakes dry, crops failed, and thousands are migrating. Officials knew how bleak the future would be without an agreement. Turkey approaches the issue as if there were basins of benevolent owner. Both sides treat data like secrets fueling mistrust. Diplomacy solves in two ways. First, an intelligence hearing. Good 15 explains the U.S. is in an excellent position to lead countries in the Tigris Euphrates Basin in a project to improve water quality and look to invent ways to manage supplies. As a leader in global community, U.S. possesses water information gathered by governmental agencies and science institutions. This needs to be coalesced to unite solutions to scarcity. Such efforts are probable. The U.S. Department of State 22 reports the U.S. works to a new approach to resolve conflicts, emphasizing environmental sustainability, create conditions for long term regional stability. This strategy prioritizes data driven analysis, diplomacy, and information sharing. Second is treaties. Hansen co writes, Turkey is unlikely to make meaningful concessions on water sharing without external diplomatic pressures. The U.S. has an opportunity to use diplomacy to move Turkey, Syria, and Iraq to a long term agreement. Specifically, Hansen further the U.S. should extend diplomatic effort to restrict Turkish exploitation of Tigris Euphrates flow, incentives to use concessions, and include economic support funds. Ankara will cave. Lynn 21 confirms Turkey is in economic difficulties and looking for international friends. If the U.S. decided to apply pressure, it would be hard to ignore. Action is essential as Dylan 19 finds the Middle East is facing existential challenges. The most critical is the Tigris Euphrates. There's a risk of will weaponized water. Water problems combined with poverty, tensions, and weak institutions contribute to state failure. In the past six years, there have been more than 25 instances in which water has been a trigger for conflict. The Middle East can move from tensions over water to war. Thus, O'Connor 18 writes the next war in the Middle East would be thought over water as Iraq, Syria, and Turkey scramble to assert claims to the Euphrates and Tigris. Civilization began with the Tigris Euphrates. This is where it will end. Lantern 19 writes with America, Europe, and Russia, and China deeply involved in Syria, a large scale war would strangle oil supply and escalate into a third world war. Thus, we affirm. Um, Ryan is sending the chat. Clear me if I like forget how to speak in the middle.
Everyone's good? Everyone's good? We need to take contention one is trade off. So point A is Asia. Asian alliances are bound for bills. Sound 22. Diplomacy is circular in Japan appears to be driving home regional alliances. Biden's assurances delayed all his concerns to instead. However, however firming steps they've cut trip time. Given finite resources, the US must make choices on how much they're cut to invest. It can invest equally in every crisis. Empirically, Bond 1021, Obama's efforts is to secure a Middle East peace deal chose the international issue with the least chance of resolution to decide to vote. Not on resources, diplomatic expenditures could have been better directed at the Indo Pacific. Time and attention represented precious commodity easily squandered. Asia would reel in response to Watford 19. Tokyo losing confidence in the US could cause allies to develop strike capabilities escalating toward Beijing would pick up Japan, causing escalation that drawn in the US, including even discussion, coercion, and security. That's standing charge for time. Asia Pacific clash points are based on territorial disputes and political differences that can snowball turning nuclear. So point B is politics. Energy perm permitting legislation will pass now, Weber 111. Divide government in Washington provides an opportunity to build bipartisan permitting reform. It won't be easy, but it would be important to act in 2023 before it becomes another political issue. A Repu Republican bill in Manchin set the stage for negotiations. However, Beam and 1 1. Biden and Congress have loose ends to pick up in the new year. Affirming sparks with backlash drinks, pull cap, and enforces domestic concessions, torpedo and legislation, Planet 21. On foreign policy, Biden needs every Democrat to pursue his domestic agenda and So the process of confirming Biden nominees who play these roles in the JCPOA aid programs have been met with strong pushback from Republicans. Middle East peace up opponents politicizing low-hanging fruit. People spend so much on political capital, they have nothing left to talk for battles. Effective permanent curbs, climate change, and U.S.-China war preventing extinction, urban one three. The U.S. depends on China for mineral, minerals critical for military revenues. Complex permanent requires companies to wait 10 years to mine, and is shopping clean tech without with growth killing cost of minerals. Prices put energy security at risk to keep the competition for updating conflict. Congress should, without delay, stream on permitting. Contention to is sanctions. Increased diplomatic to the doctrine will be limited sanctions letters in 22. Because diplomatic engagement can be slow and unglamorous, be more as a Congress champion. It's much more politically rewarding to skew negotiations and make maps less in advance to, to the extent that most policymakers value diplomacy at all. It's only covert coercive diplomacy through broad sanctions, specifically CSIS 22. Sanctions have become the U.S.'s go to tool in the Middle East that wheel that only turns in one direction. Letters in 20 furthers. The failure of sanctions cited as a reason to make them more obnoxious. Legislative current series, a case in point, the seizure of guarantees, further deprivation on a country ravaged by conflict. Already under in 22. Washington's economic seizure has led to the 90% of Syrians living in poverty, blockade people of Yemen, suffering the world's worst humanitarian crisis and mass starvation of millions in West Asia. Sanctions are vicious, and in a 20. There's overwhelming agreement in literature. Sanctions, such policies always backfire. U.S. sanctions led to the death of millions plus world or two more than all weapons of mass destruction throughout history, and more, most worse in the last two decades. Moreover, in Iraq, PM17, around 1.5 million Iraqis, primarily children, died as a direct consequence of the imposed sanctions. They will not be worth it. Goldman 16. Comprehensive sanctions are too destructive for the ends to justify the means, and the essence they're too unethically implemented. Contention 3 is allied in bold abandonment scenario, and one is Saudi Arabia. In contrast to its neighbors, increased diplomacy means decreased support for Saudi Arabia. Aldous Hard 21 to stop diplomacy in Yemen binds to you the end all American support profits of operations. Hard 22. This would stop support for Saudi intelligence sharing and efforts to intercept the attack system region. Will not end the war, but will damage relations. That supports Prolif. Jazansky 15. The perception of the U.S. as an unreliable ally making it Saudi to pursue its own deterrence through nukes. Prolif would be devastating Element 11. A decision to seek nukes would increase incentives with other nations in the Middle East to pursue weapons of their own. Given close proximity, nuclear, nuclear powers might launch a war near use forces preemptively. Low level commanders hiding missile but that sophisticated systems of an attack might be attributed to incorrect or non state actors today and to arsenals. Scenario 2 is Israel. The DOS 1025, U.S. support for Israel emphasized the Ironclad strategic partnership to deter Iran. American security systems is demonstrated with these commitments. Harvey and Hanley 19, putting Americans $3.8 billion in military assistance, Israel on the bottom block in service to the peace process makes for good politics. The public frustrated from the source, support reducing commitment and ensuring Israel's security. Doug Stanley, Murdoch 9, U.S. security assurances of the greatest impact on Israel's countless on whether it should act pre 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 preventatively as an Iraq and Syria against Iran. Moreover, rather than wait, Jerusalem is disappointed with sanctions against Iran. Israel sees them as lightning soft of Iran's nuclear efforts. In such a strike, Avery 20, Russia. And China might be drawn to nuclear weapons to be used in touch by us. And I have 28 seconds to go to their case. On Syria, one no invasion, we post it, Con 120. Keeping an eye on elections, they're the one that is looking for ways to solve the refugee crisis. Reparting with Assad may be, well be a solution to win uh, the election. Prefer Erdogan didn't do it during 2018 under the Jackie says it's just to intimidate the Kurds too. Erdogan considers the Kurds a terrorist group, so there's no way to negotiate Hoffman 19. To the Turkish government's vilification of Kurds, marginalized leaders capable of delivering statement. I was on the Pyrrhics who've tried for a decade and it's failed. Three, he's literally an off track to survive the coup in 2016. He just leveraged his power to stay in office elections and dream he can do so many other things. Run some of Yeah.
So assume we pass permitting reform. Uh, permitting reforms. How much does mining increase? A lot. Can I have a question? Where is that warranted? Um, like the fact that it's now legal. So yeah. How like so? How does it increase? Like how do we know? What do you mean? Because it's economically viable. Okay. Is there any way to quantify the increase that happens under the tag? Enough to solve our impacts. Like obviously, I can't tell you a thirty-seven percent increase in mining on a policy that hasn't passed yet. Because okay. guess what? It hasn't passed yet. But we say it's enough to solve our, in solve our impact for the urban effort. So can where is it even warranted that it's enough to solve your impact? Irving, can I have a question? So Irving just says that John, more I've mining answered, is like, eight, I've answered, I've answered eight yeah, questions. Sure. Can I ask one? Okay. Let's talk about Syria. Is Turkey a democracy, like a stable, free voting democracy? Uh, they're a flawed democracy. But like, like does the, is there like suspicion over elections everywhere? I think every democracy has suspicion of elections. Yeah, they do. Okay, like how, how big are those suspicions, would you say, John? Relatively big. Okay, but, so like in the past- hey, how, like, how many questions are you gonna take here? I mean, you asked like six, <laughs> I'm gonna take six back. <laughs> and the mine are all short, you know? Like, so let, let, let's say with these suspicions in the past, um, are there ever guards standing with guns outside polling places saying vote for Erdogan or you die? I mean, I don't know. You guys are <laughs> Okay, right. so given that's true, why does he need to invade if he can just kill people who don't vote for him? Sure. So the argument is he still lost that election, even and, with, and even if what he did that, he still lost. Well, he still loses, even though think he shoots all this. All so the, all our argument is, and also the argument is not about Erdogan's invasion per se, just for his like political. Why does this the other reason he invades is because he wants to curb the terrorists he perceives as the PKK. Like okay, regardless then why is of his it unique, political Why is your argument unique to now? Why didn't he do it like two years ago, three years ago, four years ago, five or six or seven or eight or nine or ten? Because the argument is unique to now because of the elections, okay, but it's not but because of his a, politics at home. Why would why would the elections matter? Right, you I, agree, think, I think not even. Okay, I've, I've, I've had sense. Right. Go ahead. So let's go to sanctions. Yeah. How much worse can sanctions on Iraq get? Worse. More How people worse? die. How many? I don't, more? I don't, all of them. Like obviously, I'm not going to. Where's that warranted? Our, our evidence, like obviously I can't say Which evidence? all of it. I obviously I can't tell you exactly how many people died. That's like a prediction that no author will ever be able to quantify. We say it gets worse, and given Which that- Which evidence says it even gets worse? The evidence that says sanctions go up. Obviously- Can you read me the line? Okay, I'll reread my case. Okay, so it says we do sanctions. Yes, you read that? Sure. Okay, so this says sanctions kill people. So okay. if we where does it say they get worse? So if we do more sanctions, more people die per the fact that sanctions kill people. Just like, let's say I shoot you, you die. If I shoot five more people, five more people die. That's the reason <laughs> why me shooting more people is bad. That's cross. Are you engaging in the Moscow to invade? And it's about Erdogan's perception. Are you that Erdogan's perception is that invasion does help rally the election? Also, uh, pressing the Kurds. They also oppressing the Kurds. They say that he considers the Kurds a, a terrorist group, but our evidence is post dates there and says that he, he is likely to invade. And the experts on the ground predicted to happen in February. They say he hasn't invaded in the past. And diplomacy has been Our Jeffrey Evans has stopped an invasion in 2014. And even if the elections can't be rigged, but the Erdogan perception, he wants a clean victory. That's our aid and since must evidence. On their case, on our trade of one absent policy, now we will have an expensive diplomacy. We're getting more dead caps in Morgan 22. Disengage from the Middle East will come at a high cost. Long term, we're going to interrupt and don't reason why conflict never requiring American military 
Crisis Runner, Oil Crisis Renewal, Transnational Terrorism, Cut the Card there too, Apple, Precept to Cut by Shoring Up, Global Credibility, Crits are 20, America for America, Coalition, the Kimi Line, Arizona, Public, like Syria, Yemen, and Libya, the leadership to invest in these processes, Global, International Coalitions for the country's allies, and Arabic, and Multilaterals, and Millions, selectively will be welcome, Progress to Restore America's Credibility, Three Binary Resources isn't true, Will Increase Funding, Took his Conjecture, Stevens at 21, Congress voted overwhelmingly to restore funding for the cap to resume hiring and restore our staffing, Cut the Card there, On the Impact 1, the article, uh, article 9 prevention from the Japanese militarization, was with this in the context of the original rejected discussions about worsening security as a minimum class war to the U.S. to overstretch with the be effect, we post a Globe 22, policymakers have struggled to shift attention to Asia, this stemmed from consistent international crisis of pandemic internal, internal people, Washington's police and American interests are utile, so uh, four, three, there's so cool, as bad, since the U.S. stops and at the U.S. and turn still checks, four, if we're on the brink, tons of all classes will dump their impact, e.g. further, in, uh, in, 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 in Ukraine, on politics, one, cost about the response of the DIPCAP intervention, cost of political capital to the uniqueness is that permitting is bipartisan, so Democrats wouldn't oppose it, even if you affirm the link, is not expected to build three winners win, if diplomacy works, it guarantees PC because Biden was successful, four, don't warn why you can't get past later, even if it has to be in 2023, the year just started, there's also time before the election, which is where warrant, also no warrant, by politics, rents, passes, the Inflation Reduction Act, this proves five, the impact is terrible, nobody to say, extinction or accidental, they need to prove why China would cut off rents, which they have historically, and that war with the nuclear, also they don't have a factor for many reform will be, oil always still so tenuous, and it also doesn't say USD energy security is being solved via energy diversification and isn't inherently bad. Six, diplomacy tells clients in Jules 21, climate change is an opportunity for the US, but diplomacy works in the Middle East partner, as for the American as partners in the technical know-how, double climate, while the US conserves a key broker, who, uh, in these countries uh, will play an important role in the global energy transition, Saudi Arabia, for instance, remains the world's leading oil exporter, but also deeply involved in climate negotiations, cut the card there. Outweighs because it's global energy transition, providing willing to death on sanctions. One, the letters itself is nonsense. We'll just prove the app is probable. America's already taking diplomatic action and permitting it merely entails, entails increasing those efforts. Zola in 22. Contact between Washington, Yerevan, and Baku was begun with an hour's military action, and many to the of Armenia by Pelosi is clear evidence of the West support. On their case, our Syria FCC wants to present ISIS for Syria. And we have troops in the region on water. Our evidence says that the State Department's explicit strategy to resolve ongoing conflict, which is far more specific than general diplomacy. Two, even if sanctions worsen conflict, they reduce the probability of outbreak, which is preferable. Hassan 17. Sanctions increase the rate of war termination by 97% after controlling for all other relevant variables. And sanctions have a deterrent effect. Francisco 10. Economic sanctions reduce an 8% drop in the probability of future suits. Three sanctions work when accompanied by diplomacy. Their evidence is Generic. Until 19, sanctions work with companies with, with, with diplomatic efforts. Sanctions brought around to the negotiating table and contributed to Gorbachev's determination to ease isolation. Cut the card there. Four, America will always be involved in West Asia. The uh, Grand Sanctuary, huge energy resource of international terrorism, the interest of human rights, exert a strong pull on American policy, making impossible for officials, officials to ignore the region. The Axis Rapport, Lindsay, Lindsay 20, the Middle East, it's, in the Middle East, it's time to try to pull the city pillow. It was stopped until the military power. That's not, and Ahmed 60 finds that's from Western interventions to rock off Gonsons to be size 8 million. On Saudi Arabia, one, we'd support them more. Aslami, 1123, Biden's diplomacy in Yemen taking Saudi Arabia side. When Sanders called for a resolution that would block support, Biden immediately pushed back the push policy pattern held since the early administration. When Biden pledged to end offense swaps and Saudi Arabia engaged in this aggressive campaign, and Kirk's report, 22, Biden has immediately felt a little bit to his pledges, coding MBS at every turn. Cut the card there. Their evidence is literally about the resolution that didn't pass. Two, the resolution doesn't do anything and bad if it does. Cohen 22, the bill doesn't end arms sales Saudi Arabia in order to support Kingdom to stop waging the war, simply calling for an end to support. Three, their internal link to Pearl of Sus, Beyonce 15, perception of the U.S.'s underlying alignment in Saudi Arabia to pursue deterrence by forming an alliance with an existing nuclear power. On Israel, one, Diplomacy pills and also answer Saudi Arabia. Stop 21. Partners don't want the US to reduce the military equipment in the region. Tanking partnerships will take serious diplomatic efforts, including consultative mechanisms and doing counter counterinsurgency planning. Cut the card there. Two strikes are in and out. Patty 22. A policy pressure on Iran is radically different from one adopted by Biden. Focus on Ukraine on the specific recession. There will be tough to convince the White House to invest in resources to deterrence. Redeploy doesn't mean rolling over. Stevenson 22. Basis convince parties the US commitment to their defense is theoretical. Uh, US diplomacy may be wedged to concrete military capabilities. And um, their evidence sucks. Like, it literally does not say diplomacy worsens the situation or that the US would increase diplomacy to worsen the situation. And tensions are erupting now. Affirming solves more 22. Tensions could erupt into regional conflict. Never requiring American military action to current diplomatic engagement has led the Israel area coalition to uh, determine that accelerating Washington globe is the only way to ensure safety. Uh, cut, the, cut the next part of it. And international pressure runs to strike. William 22, Israel will the UN would prefer a diplomatic resolution over a standoff with like Iran's nuclear program. And then I'll skip to the last one. Strikes it limited. Partly 19, Israel would limit its attacks linked with Iran nuclear program. Can you resend the. Yeah. That's not
sent to Mark Gruden. Okay. Are you sure you read everything on this? Um, you trying to know what I'll do if you didn't? I'm, 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 double, I'm double checking. Okay. Yeah. Like a hundred percent? What are you doing? <laughs> 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 start taking breath. Okay, well, I'll start right now. <laughs> Second one. <coughs> I'll send Doc.
on dish we'll concede that we can increase funding, which definitely kicks the terms, and we'll concede the impact even so there's no impact off the terms on Paul Cap. First, they say they cost political capital. There's no warrant on why that's necessarily true. Why does intervention increase political capital? We say that intervention doesn't, uh, doesn't work. They say that partisanship isn't increasing. We're not. No, they concede the fact that Manchin is not on board in the first place, and that's even his Biden. They say that winners win. What's the implication of this? No warrant on why diplomacy necessarily means that there's going to be a winner. They say that political passage is going on right now. There's oil lobbies. They concede the fact there's no. Uh, yeah, they say there's, a, there's no impact right now. They concede the fact that uh, there's a U.S.-China war which causes transition wars, and during the transition war that causes hegemonic claim, which causes the extinction through nuclear escalation. They say that uh, there's passages happening right now in oil lobby assault. There's no implication on this whatsoever. They can see the fact that we don't have permitting right now in the status quo, which is unique. This definitely takes out. Lastly, they say there's implication about how Gulf states are going to come together to solve climate change. Number one, there's no impact right off of climate change. Number two, there's no implication on how we definitely solve this. The entire region is locked in oil. They sell oil for most of their economy, so they're not going to change. On sanctions, they say that sanctions are not going to be the only form. That's fine. We still argue that we still win in heresy on sanctions. They group the next two responses. They say that sanctions are going to increase conflict. There's no warrants on any of their evidence, and they can see the high evidence. Which in case their evidence is evidence symbolically a suspect, they can see the fact that it's bought up by Western powers who want to justify sanctions in the first place. They say that they're working with the JCPOA right now. They can see the fact that Ron cheated during the JCPOA. They didn't follow the sanctions in the first place. They were able to circumvent them. So the only impact of sanctions harm the people. They say that they're all going to be involved in uh, this. Going to be trade off with the military. Number one, the resolution does say that we get, remove our military bases. But number two, they've read impact defense on either on the Israel scenario, saying that we're all going to have military bases, which they definitely takes out the term. On Saudi Arabia, they said, we'll agree that Saudi Arabia will increase. There's no current implication, and we'll also concede the fact that they don't proliferate, so there's no actual implication. On Israel, we'll concede the fact that strikes are limited right now, and we'll also concede the fact that international pressure, international pressure stops strike, which takes out the Morgan turn, on their case. At the top on Syria, they on the all extend the second response. They can see the fact that Erdogan doesn't want to work with the terrorist group in the first place. They say their evidence post date and just happens. What does this mean? Erdogan doesn't want to actually listen to the terrorist group and say the diplomacy always fails even if the US intervenes. Then also, the election loss triggers the impact. Baghdad 19, Turkey's elections have been marred by massive state intervention, campaigning on opposition media, intimidation, restriction of opposition parties and candidates, official suppress the free press, curse civil society, and change constitutional rules to solidify their power. Then no bio terror terrorists have to be left to control the weapons to rebel against establishment. Cross 21, they have terror bio agents with very limited number of materials. Groups interest have been rudimentary for this focus on talking no doing casualties results. A decade long interest. Three, they can see the first crossfire and wants to fight the terrorists. Obviously, the diplomacy is in the popular with terrorists. On Azerbaijan, others could try it. Others could try it. And evidence for warrants. Four issues. One, this says that leverage that we use is through ending arms sales, but they can just buy from other actors like Russia and China. Two, it says the leverage exists since 2002, but none of our, uh, nothing has worked just by constant US efforts. Three, it says we should increase sanctions, which concedes our Lincoln case. Four, they say that there's precedent for success, but the thing about the 2020 ceasefire, which is brokered by Russia, not by America. Then, diplomacy fails. Far seen 22. Nor, uh, the US has yet to identify means that power change in the prospects for achieving comprehensive and remain discouraging. That's Levine point one. What Stephen Siller is uh, suggesting that you're Diplomacy can get local actors banned in more deeply held positions where the US and neither force no incentive to do some nationalism, ethnic uh, history, and geography combined to make the government car back to irretrievable issue. And then she has a worldwide ethnic conflict. The US has no solution for more than 25 years to try to fail. Then state bias. Azerbaijan, uh, 22, President Azerbaijan said that the US administration takes a completely biased position to unilateral on Armenia, South Sudan, and other listen. Also, the head of Azerbaijan's security was assassinated in the US. They obviously don't care about diplomacy if they perceive threats on security and on water. On the collab evidence, one has two issues. One, this says security is inevitable. Things like inefficient farming techniques is important to waste 70% of the water and the reading of the management makes it more inevitable. Second, says Turkey needs to get Syria and Iraq both on board. They only entertain hands before these countries that are essentially failed states and large domestic interests withdraw. On intel sharing, one, selfish interest dump takes one share of water. A small of 20. In the mere presence of agreements, then they take the parties to cooperate mechanism for preventing, uh, pre preventing emerging agreements. There's no, there's no, globally, no globally binding laws on water sharing resources. Second, if the argument is true, there's many shortages of water due to climate change and necessary negotiations. Never side, supply side issues that have never addressed. They talk about means literally no water share on treaties. One, international cooperation solved the conflict now in the past year, evidence from 2012. Manu 21, the Turkey has approved a memorandum of forcing cars to share their share of water to Iraq, who's fishing more than five times. Second, external diplomacy rejected. A small of 19 countries tried to resist external moment and water issues. Turkey and Euphrates, Tigris, Bayfins, are trying to avoid using global. In fact, one, there's no water wars. You check FP21, you the threats warning about looming water wars in the Middle East were often inflated. You check the desalination profitable to take desalination to consume more water. Prefer the Atlantic evidence to more water. Second, the no water wars. Adaptation, uh, D'Angelo 18. Water conflicts have been resolved in a cooperative way of the 1800 uh, interaction. 60 examples were cooperative, no events were catalyzed for more trade. There's a lot of countries to circumvent that water scarcity. Except the last card. So, yeah, that's it. The only yeah. thing is just. Only thing was a grab of Miko. Are you going to take crap before cross? So, like, it makes sense. That's in rebuttal, you said Mansion isn't on board with permitting reform. Where did you say that in your case? It's the second piece of evidence we read. Also, we wait, wait, no, no, Re read it, please. Like, okay, I, I can, I can pull up my case. I can also the idea is that like Biden. I don't want the idea. I want the evidence because that was a front line. I, How's I make ideas as a front line? But, okay, I'll, I can make ideas as a front line. Okay, so just, just read it. Yes, I will. I will pull up the case and I will read the card for you. Um, Weber one one 
Where does it say? Where does it say Mansion? I'm a little Republican bill. A Republican bill sent Mansion set up state for negotiation. Oh, so there are because Mansion wants to do the bill. Right. So Mansion, idea, Mansion literally pull cap. And wait, wait. Mansion promotes the permitting reform bill. He's the one who first introduced yeah, it in December. Down. I don't know what you're showing me yet. Like, Mansion you know, like, proposed the bill in December. Why is he against it? What do you mean? Like, also, why does Mansion care about the Middle East? What, 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 is there a link evidence about Mansion? No, that link evidence is Sap's pull cap. It talks about Menendez, though. How does that relate to Mansion? I don't even know who Menendez is. Well, that, that, that's, in, that's in your link. It's in it's your it's link not argument. Relevant. <laughs> it is, because it says that the only person who makes life hard for Democrats on foreign policy is yeah. Menendez. So you read evidence about Mansion. Evidence saying about Mansion doesn't support it, but Mansion does support we, it. We read evidence saying Biden needs to get on board. Like, Biden is on board. He's not on board. You didn't read evidence. That's about your that. evidence. It's the first card. <laughs> <That's a laughs> okay, no, okay. Wait, wait, we can agree to clarify this. Okay, Mansion's on board. Biden's not on board. Okay. Yep. Yes. Mansions? No, wait, no, no. That's your evidence disagrees with both of those. What, what is the Ryan, Ryan, I, Ryan, Ryan, Ryan. It's interesting. You didn't cut any of the cards in this argument, Dishon, and I did. Dishon, and the, Dishon, the argument yeah. is Mansion and the Republicans are on board. Okay, this is not your cross card. Not your cross. Yeah. Like, the no, argument. You're asking a question. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, like not yeah. to you. We're, we've gone over this several times in cycles, right? We can agree Mansions on board, but Biden's not. He said that's not what happens. Okay, wait. Okay, let's talk about your argument on Azerbaijan, right? Yeah. So, why has diplomacy? What's unique about diplomacy now in Azerbaijan? Um, so our, the second piece of evidence we read says that Armenia and Azerbaijan are more likely to negotiate because unlike in the run-up to the 2020 war, Azerbaijani people don't support the war, and Armenia has agreed to make concessions despite quote-unquote difficult outcomes, so that proves they're more likely to negotiate. Isn't your more than, more saying than that, that Azerbaijan is starting the conflict now? Yeah, like they so still, how are they, they, still, they have, the they have well, low support, low support is still some support, and they're still oppressing the people, but given a chance to take a diplomatic option, both sides would come to the table, that's the, the argument. The history behind the conflict is that Azerbaijan lost the war, so they're more inclined to start the war because they want to win it, right? right like, perhaps. If there's support for the war, how is there going to be support for diplomacy? What do you, if there's support for like, the war? Like, if the people because want the war, evidence doesn't say there's support, support for the war. Like, it just doesn't. If there wasn't support for the war, they wouldn't be starting the war. That's not true. Azerbaijan, like, has support. It's just low. The evidence says that they are likely to negotiate because support isn't as high as it was in the run-up to 2020. Can I have a question? Sure. Okay. Uh, with regards to sanctions, yep. is the impact, well, what is the impact? Um, Jay and Rob are probably going for more weighing on, like, how sanctions are. Well, I'm just asking what the impact is. Um, it's like 150 million people dead. 150 million? Yeah, I don't remember the exact number. Like millions of people died. Just, just, mi just millions of deaths. Nothing existential? Nothing existential. We can okay. read link in to that sanctions. Check the argument. Yeah. Alright. We will start with uh, um,
to, but like if you want me to, I had it like a seven. Okay. It's okay. It was five. Okay. Where are you starting, Mr. Uh, Armenia, Azerbaijan, Bay, and your case. Sounds good. Sounds so. good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll kick stuff at the top, I guess. Okay. Okay. Everybody good? Cool. We'll concede the impact defense on our C1 and C3. Move to Armenia, Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan is repressing ethnic Armenians in the Nordic Karabakh, ramping up demands and escalating violence. Russia bogged down in Ukraine is unwilling to play referee, leaving only the U.S. with under rights to the West. Saw part of home seeking, bringing them to the table, avoiding a war that will cause expansion, Russian intervention, and Turkish provocation, NATO war with Armenia, culminating extinction from nuclear news famine. This hospital is uniquely important. Few places have such vital intersections. Autocrats are looking at the conflict to model adventurous behavior in U.S. credibility to state. Now, to all the responses. First, they say we'll buy from other actors. One, they don't have any evidence that Russia and China would sell. Two, the whole point of sanctions is that they don't have the funding to buy from other actors, so they physically can't get them. Then, they say in the past, but in the past, we haven't tried to increase diplomacy through the U.S. That's our argument, is we need to increase diplomacy to try it now. Then, they said they'll increase sanctions, which concedes like, that's our argument. We are arguing that we sanction them, which removes their physical capability to provoke a war. Even if that's caused some humanitarian harm in the region, it still outweighs because we're preventing a wider war, which would definitely outweigh for reasons I'll get to. Then, fourth, on the 2020 argument, just because that negotiation was done by Russia, Russia can't do it now because they're too bogged down in Ukraine. Our argument that that's precedent for diplomacy working in the region, and that the U.S. can now step in and fill for diplomacy. Then they say that the U.S. is a biased media. How a biased media is better than nothing at all. Then they say like diplomacy fails, or this card is about Yemen, not about our argument. Then on their leaving evidence, they never use sanctions. So one, we've never used sanctions in the region, and two, they've dropped that it's the most likely place to negotiate because they want to negotiate now. They've shown themselves willing to extract concessions. Uh, yeah. So oh, and then the last response in an analytic that isn't like implicated to our argument. It's about Iran, not our argument. So we away for a few reasons. First is extinction. Extinction outweighs on magnitude and is irreversible. Second, we away uh, because it's the place where the most interests intersect in the world. That's conceded uniqueness on our argument, so it's the most likely place for war. Second, it involves NATO and the US all getting involved in a war with uh, Iran, which is guaranteed to go nuclear. Then they've conceded it's a model for autocrats everywhere. Ask yourself, well, who are the countries we're sanctioning because they're provoking these conflicts? Autocrats, if you increase autocracy, you increase the need for sanctions in the future. As they spread their war and proxy wars and things, that increases the need for sanctions. And then lastly, if you increase autocracy, you also uh, like decrease poll cap because we'll continue to have to intervene in those regions as well. So on that, we're better for poll cap. Then on their argument. First, on their politics argument, they clearly have no idea what they're talking about. Biden and Manchin both support the bill. They say it's like, oh, it's contested now. They can't tell you who's contesting it. It will get passed. Then, on their sanctions argument, they've dropped a tool I think. Oh yeah, they also have no war my past can't get passed later. Even as in 2023, the year just started. There's so much stuff. There's time before the elections, which is their war. Also, there's no war my politics prevents passage, such as the Inflation Reduction Act. That would just prove because Biden got that passed, so he still has poll cap. Then, on their sanctions argument, they dropped a tool idea that says sanctions are working with diplomacy now. In the past, we've done sanctions without diplomacy. The app is arguing for increased diplomacy, and even if that increases sanctions, or tool 19, which goes clean conceded, says that it would work uniquely because we can negotiate to then reduce the sanctions after we increasing them. Then, they've dropped their argument that the sanctions, uh, when we impose sanctions, we decrease the likelihood of future conflict by 8%. So this outweighs because even if we impose sanctions, they cause a short-term harm. In the long term, we decrease the conflict, which decreases sanctions in the long run, because we won't even oppose them again as the conflict is stopped. Uh, 42 prep now. Then, like, when I'm, like, extending sanctions, I'll do some funny cross-application stuff, and then I'll, like, handle, like, more line by line on sanctions. It, it, it'll make sense when I do it. <laughs> Everyone ready? Okay. Time will start now. On sanctions, they extend two responses. First, they say, or group them both. First, they've conceded, A, that all their evidence is episode whatever the word is, suspect, because it's paid off by Western authors who just want to use sanctions, which means none of the responses matter to conceded in that on the line by line, the first on the response that sanctions work with diplomacy, sure, they might work with diplomacy, but they can see that our evidence that when we increase diplomacy, we just make our sanctions more obnoxious. That's the Larson evidence that funds in Syria when our sanctions weren't working. Just we just did even more sanctions, which killed more people per Larson per the Caesar app. Their nuts argument is that we reduce the likelihood of conflict. Was there a warning in rebuttal? Was there a warning in summary? No, there wasn't for both. Now to concede the front line from Ryan's speech and that the evidence has like no terminalization whatsoever. What's the warning? 
At that point, you'd send sanctions. Diplomats, efforts with all, with common form of the choice of sanctions, which doesn't more politically as president and flashy for politicians to show the voters that unfortunately increased the of sanctions would fail to resolve conflicts only further entrenching regime that is in Syria and Yemen, or send conflicts only to millions of deaths. They have conceded our evidence that the end, the unresolved sanctions is never worth the means because they're so destructive and so awful, which is a deontological reason to reject them because they advocate for sanctions. I don't care if I'm blowing this up new and second summary. It was in case and it was conceded that sanctions on their own are a reason to reject them, and they go for the link on their case as sanctions. They say that sanctions are what resolves Azerbaijan and Armenia, but A, they have conceded all of the impairments on artists that sanctions fail to resolve conflicts, and it's just like Western authors that say they do, and B, that even if they do resolve the conflicts, it's not worth it because of how many children are died. 1.5 million people died in Iraq that were all kids, all because of sanctions. At the point, go to the way in. First of all, sanctions increase authoritarianism. Um, Gold team, um, 21, sanctions against autocratic regimes have empowered empower them as the role of in distribution of scarce goods becomes more central. They themselves say that authoritarian regimes lead to more war. We win the better internal link into authoritarian regimes. We're winning on the line, even though that doesn't even matter because of the deontological claims. Second of all, sanctions more like that drastically new countries economies, which throughout the history conditions for terror, and they themselves say on their one that terrorism leads to extinction. Third of all, we would say that um, sanctions lead to increase the propensity for intervention because when we sanction people, their countries collapse from them, we get involved and intervene. There it is. The only piece of offense they go for is Azerbaijan, but they have fully conceded the al Mayadeen evidence that finds that Azerbaijani president hates America because we're biased and, quote, will not do diplomacy with us. They say we're the only option. Okay, they won't take any option. The evidence is from the Azeri president himself and says he just will not work with us, which is conceded and is definitely terminal defense on their link. The next argument I'm going to go for is the leave in evidence, which indicates that there's so many ge geographical and religious divides where even if Sancha or even if their link resolves this one conflict, there will still inevitably be conflicts in the region due to the divide between countries, which is at best their arguments non unique because they just kick the can down the line on their way. First, they say they outweigh on magnitude. Magnitude leads to policy paralysis because we focus on what the most important impacts, even if it has a 1% risk of happening some the sanctions that they've conceded to 1.5 million people. They say it's a region where most people are stuck. Okay, we sanction the region too. They say that everyone's involved. Okay, everyone's involved with sanctions. We all sanction the country and then all the civilians die. And those civilians don't have any say in international politics. So you probably prefer them. They say that authoritarianism hurts Paul Capra. Okay, if we win the battle linked with authoritarianism, we win that too. Sanctions is easy. The deontological arguments conceded. You drop them. All right, ready for cross? Yeah. All right, wait, can we go to the table? Come no. Okay. No. Ready for no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I guess I'm ready for cross. Okay. What evidence says sanctions go to the epistemologically suspect? Um, it's one of our pieces of evidence. I don't know. I, I cut all of your evidence. Just think it. It. <laughs> no, you actually did. Just before this round, we planned on going for sanctions and cut new evidence. Well, okay, I'm reading the doc right now. It all says slash. Ishan, we hit you off our case doc. You don't have our doc. You sent us your case, right? Okay. So, here's Wait, so what thing. evidence What evidence says it's epistemologically suspect? Okay, first, the Goldman evidence. It doesn't say that. Where does it say that? Read, read a line. It says, in essence, they're too unethical. The evidence about it being unethical. I can't say the word. Um, the the Hanina evidence that there's overwhelming agreement in literature that's the policy is always backfired. Yeah. Okay. Also, we can make analytical, analytical index about the idea of literature being written. And that was in Ryan's rebuttal, and it was yeah. conceded, which means if I like, if you want to go new and finally, Sean, go ahead. We have like the last word to point out that was new. Okay. I guess it's like a question on Azerbaijan. Um, so. Has like in 2020 when Russia did diplomacy with Azerbaijan to resolve it, did they use sanctions? No. So what? What? So the Russia didn't need to. Russia didn't need to. Like, okay, they, the both, both, sides, both sides negotiated because so in this case, do? in this case, you say the U.S. has faults as a mediator. Like that is true. No, it's not just that they okay, have faults. Can it's... I finish an answer? Yeah. So the U.S. has faults as a mediator, and so as a result, it would use sanctions. Can yeah. I have a question? No, really quickly, because you said I would go after you finish. Um, okay. It's not they just have faults. It's the Azeri president himself saying, "I don't do All negotiations right, well, with America because they suck." All right. That's not what he said. That's okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, so wait, wait, again, which evidence says it's epistemologically suspect? I, mean, I just I told you, it's Hanina. It doesn't, where, okay, read it's a it's, There is overwhelming agreement in literature that the policies always backfire. Not always, almost always. But so uh, almost always, always, my bad, Ishan. You're, you're, you're well, right I, I, I think if you're going for it, it's like a sanctions fails on the app. You have to prove that sanctions would fail but in a specific here, reason. Here's the thing, here's the thing. First of all, we read arguments in case of, of impurities in sanctions, i.e. Syria and Yemen, 
that's not time really. That's two minutes. Oh, yeah, you're um, right. Yeah. That in Syria and Yemen, sanctions failed to resolve the conflicts, which is empirics to the Middle East, the only empirics on the efficacy of sanctions, and find sanctions failed in the Middle East. And second of all, that combined with the Hanina evidence, which indicates that always, that sanctions, sorry, almost always backfire, leads to the fact that sanctions won't work. And that's further added on by the fact that analytical in that Ryan makes that I extend that sanctions are, are the, your authors are paid off to justify what doesn't them. exist. Like, you're just saying that they're paid off. Like, who was paid off? Like, why was Satrakian paid the, the off? The Department of State, <laughs> the Department of State paid off Satrakian, and it was conceded in Ryan's rebuttal in my summary. You're just, you're, 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 you're making stuff up. Like, they don't, don't exist. Go new, please. Like, okay. if you want to, like, go ahead. But, like, it's new. All right. Uh, okay, clarify your way. Um, I did a couple of them. Which one? All of it? Um, sanctions lead to authoritarianism, which turns case per John's analysis. Sanctions lead to terrorism, which um, turns case per year C1. Sanctions lead to the replication of conditions for conflict. American intervention, yeah. 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 Okay, framing slash weighing, half, maybe next. Okay, anyone not ready? Okay. First, they did not explain why deontological concerns outweigh. That's just an assertion that is deontologically unjust, but they have agreed that our scenario is uniquely lacking. Their evidence is our two destructive for the ends and justify the means. But the ends is preventing extinction. They didn't say that the extinction outweighs on magnitude and is functionally irreversible. If it's irreversible, that's a question. That, that, that's also meta weighing as to why it should come first. And also, you yeah, reject the policy paralysis argument. You can't assume infinite existential scenarios. That is judge intervention. The only existential scenario read in the round is specific conflict between Nagorno Karabakh, which means that we outweigh here. And if we win our scenario is probable, then obviously we're reducing a likely cause of extinction. And also, if we're preventing people from getting ethnically cleansed via our Nagorno Karabakh, then obviously our argument is. Uh, is uh, uh, deontologically good. This argument and cross-application was new in their last week, so I get new answers, but also independently reject their deontological way because they can say literally anything to what I said in first final, and that means they always win. They could have made this argument rebel or implicated, but it is just far too new. On the authoritarianism term, no one has read an impact from authoritarianism to extinction, so authoritarianism doesn't matter. And then they say the nuclear econ increasing terrorism. They read defense in our case saying there are no bioterrorists, so obviously there's no impact. And then they say increased intervention. What is the impact of intervention? Again, doesn't matter. At that point, the Nagorno-Karabakh argument is where you're going to vote for us. They have agreed that currently there's a conflict in Nagorno Karabakh and Azerbaijan is increasing its demands that only US diplomacy can solve. They have agreed the link we would do is sanctions. It cuts off their physical capability to start the war, which responds to both of their arguments. Even if uh, we do, uh, even if it doesn't work, even if it, it won't work with the US, uh, because our evidence says that we sanction their ability to actually engage in the war. We're not kicking the can down the road because they have no physical ability to start the war. It also brings them to the table. They said they have evidence from the arresting president, but they have dropped that it doesn't matter what the intentions are if we are sort of stopping them from engaging. They've also dropped evidence saying the Azerbaijani people do not want the war, so our evidence is much better. The president and adherence to the people and as a result we're preventing extinction. They have dropped this is the most likely cause of extinction in the round. We have read reasons as to why NATO, uh, NATO, Russia, and US are all directly involved. Few interests intersect. So it is a uniquely likely scenario. Preventing extinction is deontologically good and should not wait. And you should reject their new way on their case. We're going to go for sanctions. Work with a company by diplomacy. That's the O2 evidence. Even if they're epistemologically suspect, no, because saying diplomacy should increase alongside sanctions, rejecting the historical narrative. But also, if we prove that they work with diplomacy, like the O2 evidence suggests, we're not, we, we are doing diplomatic efforts alongside them, so it is not deontologically bad. The AFS evidence is not in the context of increasing diplomacy, and Hadania is saying it's bought off is literally fake. Okay, we have like how much? 13 and sorry when he tells himself that authoritarian states are the most likely to start the conflicts that exhalate into extinction. He tells himself that the authoritarian uh, leaders in the area, for example, in Nagorno Karabakh, the reap cause, so if we win the sanctions, increase authoritarianism, we win the round. Let's go to the way. He says there's no impact to authoritarianism. That doesn't matter. Well, I'm just clarifying that we need to win a link to authoritarianism. And John makes the link that authoritarians cause conflict because they have less checkbacks in their countries. Then they say that sanctions, uh, they say there's no impact on bioterror. Again, they didn't specifically kick the defense on their contention one to kick out of this implication. They're concerned that even if there's not a bioterror impact, they're still concerned the fact that the US still wants to re intervene with this mass amounts of sanctions that cause terrorism and the US re intervenes which perpetuates the conflicts that they talk about, which inevitably non needs the escalation scenarios that they refer to. With that in mind, let's go to sanctions. On the 
they, they extend the idea that diplomacy increases and that we're going to work alongside it. Even if you don't buy the fact that authors are just bought off by Western powers who want to justify the idea of sanctions to begin with, they've conceded the fact that sanctions historically never work in the first place, which is like every single time that we have read evidence and analyzed the overall trend in any case, there's no warrant on their claims about how sanctions decrease conflict. At that point, the argument is conceded that when we do diplomacy, we, we will increase sanctions, and that's really bad because that causes massive amounts of repression where people can't get through because they're so cut off from the international community and causing millions of people to starve. On the day on top debate, they've conceded the fact that day on justifies dropping them in the beginning, just dropping sanctions on space. Their only response is that it's far too new in the round. Number one, you can make new Wang in second summary, but number two, this was in case. It was direct card in case. This means the gold scene evidence which indicates that stuff just on face more moral to reject sanctions because of the economic cost they bring in the first place. And they can see the fact that states can independently circumvent sanctions in the first place. This was a front line that I read on case that Jay extended, which means that all their arguments for how sanctions work in Azerbaijan don't matter. The leader can circumvent the sanctions in the first place. They can get arms from other areas, but the people themselves are independently hurt in the first place. On their way, they say reject policy paralysis because you don't know how many existential though. There were like five different existential impacts on how war leads to extinction in case. So obviously there's other ones. So you always prefer us because they said that focusing on magnitude and any risk into extinction causes policy paralysis where you don't do anything at all. But you know for a fact that sanctions empirically don't work. They, okay, on their case, they go for the idea that we can prevent the capacity of the argument. They can see the fact they can just buy weapons from other areas and the fact that the policy doesn't work. They have allies like Russia and China to back them up in the first place. So the capacity question doesn't matter if the incentive question exists. Gross. Yeah, sure. Okay. 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 Okay.